Hey loves, welcome back to my channel again. So let's go get ready and come to church with us. I will also be sharing with you guys what's going to be in my church bag and the things that I'm bringing. Anyways, you guys, this message is also for you. So make sure to stay tuned. But first, let's go make some coffee. Okay guys, so the kids are downstairs, they're already eating, and it's time to get ready for church. Welcome to the Sunday vlog. We're gonna do a little come to church vlog with us as a family of four. It's been two weeks since, since the last time we went to church, and you guys, we really need to go to church because especially me, I've been having a spiritual warfare for a while for the past week now and um, I just not need to break through this and so that's why I told my husband that we really need to go now the kids are eating downstairs I'm just gonna get ready and then I have to iron my daughter's clothes for today and uh, yeah come to church with us anyways you guys I'm just gonna do a fast Get ready with me right now and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, so outfit check. Here's my kids. As always, they look so cute. They are ready to go to church. Okay guys, so we are going to church right now and here are the things that I'm gonna be bringing for the kids. So just an update, they're the only child, they're the only children in that church because it's a small church and yeah, they're the first kids there. So they don't really have a lot of things for them. So just to get them busy, we are bringing them some coloring stuff and some drawing stuff and they get to pick a toy that they can also bring. And I'm also gonna be bringing my iPad. This is what I'm gonna be writing on for today and my Bible app and also my wallet. And I'm also gonna be bringing the cream for Heaven's Face because it's been dry lately and some hand sanitizer. So yeah, and also wipes. And yeah, let's put it in, in the bag. And this is the bag that I'm gonna be using you guys, a big one, so. That's what we're going to be doing for today. finally back home and the kids are eating and I am making my lunch but there's the kids and you guys the message 
today was spot on and like it's literally for what I've been going through for this past week I'm trying to find a found it <laughs> but um the message was so good that it, I felt like the message was literally for me and my family because if you guys are watching my shorts I've been telling you guys over there what I've been going through um, this past weeks or days and yeah and I will share with you guys the message for today and I'm just gonna make my food really quick okay guys so I'm back I'm trying to not be too loud I was waiting for my husband to put our daughter to bed to nap because she was really getting fussy and it's hard for me to like talk to you guys downstairs and I have stuff to do that I want to also finish because heavens is running out of clothes so I'm gonna do her laundry today but you guys she stains her clothes like no other let me just close the door okay guys so I can talk a little bit louder now but um, I just closed the door anyways so like I was saying she stains her clothes like no other so I've been looking for this thing in the store like in Target Walmart or anywhere and they, I couldn't find any of this this is the stain and odor eliminator and this is the only thing that really really work for me for the clothes especially for kids and so I just got it from Amazon and I received it today when we came home so I'm gonna be what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna pick all her clothes that has stains and then um, I'm gonna spray it down with the grandma's thing spray and then I'm gonna leave it in the bathtub with hot water and the biz for a couple of hours and then I'll brush it and then I'll put it in the washer so that's the plan that I'm gonna be doing here's the grandma's thing that I'm gonna be using to spray it anyways you guys while I am doing this I want to share with you guys what I was going through so this past weeks or week actually I haven't been myself like I was saying on my shorts because I feel like I've been so pissy angry or impatient and just really just not myself and I just blow up just like that like it's just so crazy so I don't know I'm battling like what the devil is telling me of and putting me down and just all these negative thoughts from the enemy and it's just ruining my relationship with my family because you know like you don't have patience you yell and you just blow up blow up to them and stuff like that so that's why I've been praying for to God to take away because I don't want to be like this and I feel like it happens when I'm about to get my period TMI but um, I don't know we'll see but it's not an excuse I know but it's just the hormones it's just too much so today the message at church was about Adam and Eve but it's a deeper message than the superficial story about them so um, so what I got today from the message is that you don't let the things outside of you um, distract you or make you believe that it's real so pretty much what the pastor was saying that every thoughts that comes in that telling you because of your um, your your own language like your language of like saying for example oh I'm dumb I'm stupid oh I can't be like this oh blah 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 all these um, negative thoughts that you have that's your own language for yourself so every thoughts that comes in like that is from the is from the devil and I already know that it's just that I have a hard time so far to just let it go I guess and it's just not good for me so it was so good that we forced ourselves to go to church even though my daughter has a little cuff but they're the only children there and she's not really contagious so 
yeah and so he was saying like earlier this morning when I was looking at my husband because we were debating if we should go and I'm like you're not even happy blah 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 so all that things that your mind is telling you oh yeah your husband is not happy she doesn't want to go to to he doesn't want to go to church or yeah your husband is think you like you're you're this you're crazy blah, blah blah like all these thoughts are from the devil that's just trying to take you away from the frequency of what the word what god's word is for your life so that's what the pastor was saying to not listen to not go outside the frequency of the voice of the holy spirit you know like you only have to listen to jesus who sacrificed his life for you who died for you so that's the only words that's the only um, frequency of words that you should be listening to and not yourself so what he's saying that don't believe whatever is outside of your you know your whole body or like your whole self like don't believe it like whatever pe people give you like like for example if people give you like a mean look or like oh she didn't even respond to me or stuff like that like those are just from the distraction from the devil like just trying to pull you in so yeah it was such a great message just a reminder for me that it is from the devil what I've been feeling lately. It is from the enemy that's trying to pull me down because I've been doing so good for a long time until last week, you know? So I just got out of the frequency since last week and that was not healthy. That was not good. So it's a good reminder. That's why it's important to go to church because these things will remind you and confirm what you are feeling and, um, what the holy spirit and god wants you to know you know so he speaks in in different ways and one of him speaking to me is by us going to church and the message for today so it was such a great message and it just reminded me it just boosted me up like okay it is really from the enemy and i need to get out of it as fast as i can so i can go back in the word in the frequency of what god tells me like his words pretty much i'm very happy that we did go to church so yeah how about you guys how was your sunday look at this look how dirty this is like she goes out and it's just like she goes on the floor and all the clothes are just dirty man but that's the thing that I'm going to be doing today. So I'm going to be a little bit busy. And as you can see, my bed is still not made. And I need to actually change our bed sheets. So I'm going to do that after I put this in the bathtub. And so yeah, let's finish this. And I'll catch up with you later on after I finish all of this. Look out, here she comes. The woman that I love. Too bad she'll never know Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel Because she has someone who makes her happy I'm a ghost in these walls Or at least I try to be Cause I hope that I'm not showing her How I feel for her Ta-da! welcome back again you guys so i just finished doing our bed so i think i'm gonna end the vlog you guys in here i think that's about it but i hope that you guys got something out of this video and if you did please don't forget to give it a like subscribe and um hit the bell notification so you guys won't miss a video from me so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye